I really wish I was out on the water. Alrighty, so today has been a busy day so far. It's a roughly, a, it's approximately like 11.30 a.m. right now. I've been uh, working on the house, I've been painting, but right now my friend Jack uh, is on his way and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get the boat We'll need this Just in case be in the driveway all summer what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the Rayobi power washer and clean clean all this up get it nice and fresh clean all that up and I'm going to use the Ryobi buffers to uh, shine the hull as you can see, that it's, uh, it's not really that shiny, you know, compared to compared to a car. So I'm gonna spend all summer uh, buffing the hell out of this thing. So what I want to do is vacuum my car, wipe down the interior, and vacuum the the boat, and talk about stuff these uh, Ryobi tools that you could use on a boat that would work perfectly in every situation. So there's actually quite a few tools that you could that you could bring on a boat on a regular uh, on a regular basis. That's what this episode's about. So let's go get the stick vacuum. So I think I had a malfunction with my memory card just now. Let me vacuum this up a little bit. Perfect. Yeah, let's get rid of the big pieces. See, I do have, I do have stuff I gotta fix, like that. That's no good. So yes, my Ryobi products will be fixing that. What this boat is, it's a 1990 Celebrity uh, one, 190 BR. All right, so so far that's two items you could use on the boat. That would be very helpful. Because of the, oh, let's actually turn you that way a little bit more. Because of the battery system, uh, these two vacuums, the Ryobi, because of these two vacuums, the Ryobi stick vacuum, and the Ryobi hand vac are perfect for cleaning your boat on a, timely basis when you go when you decide to go out 
because and then because it won't take much power like you saw in the video on how much I use this on and there I, I still have 75% of the battery left so you could use that battery for other stuff that you bring on the boat you know so this stuff does not take the these batteries won't drain fast to where you clean the boat really quickly with one item and then the battery's dead so you can use the one battery for multiple things and not bring with you like 10 like eight batteries so it is beer o'clock right now so i'm going to go grab a beer and we'll continue and like i said this is my day off you know i'm just chilling chillaxing so the next item that i believe that will be very good for the boat is the radio last year what my wife and i loved loved to do is we love to listen to the cubs game out on the water and oh yes obviously portable radio that could operate on the same battery that you used to vacuum the boat or bring a 1.5 amp hour battery because it's not because it's not big just keep it attached and then you're good to go it has its own battery supply so the third item is the radio another good item to bring with you would be a flashlight now there are multiple types of uh, flashlights or lights that you could bring with you and that is the LED flashlight the the regular flashlight the area light and the powerful LED uh, spotlight which this will brighten up any area I so yes so the, those lights would be perfect for the boat because let's say you're 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 out at night and you don't you want to see what you're doing these four lights would be perfect for what you need to do that with the tire inflator is good for the boat because this is in case if you don't if you don't have yours uh you don't have your trailer uh sitting uh sitting somewhere and your boat is at the marina all summer and you don't want a boat slip so you want to travel your uh your boat everywhere you want it you want it to go tire inflator would be good because uh, not only your car but you could also inflate your tires on your trailer just because you don't you, you don't monetize the tire the tires on the trailer as much as you do as the car so this is always good to have on you uh if you uh travel with the boat and the trailer so all you want last thing you want while you're going to the marina is a flat on your trailer then you gotta wait then your day is ruined so this could save your day so the other item that you could bring is a tire inflator of course the last thing that i have in my arsenal that you could bring on you with the boat and which is the probably the one you'll use the most besides the radio is the blower so what we're actually going to do is because I need uh, some, I wanted to de demonstrate the blower to your guys, to you guys, and how well the blower works. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up in my attic really quick and go get uh, an inflatable device that you would use on the water because I have one that's up in the attic. So I will need the I will need the area light. So let's get a battery to go with it. Make sure it works and it does perfect let's go up in the attic alrighty is what I need up oh, there it is damn it's just out of reach it's just out of reach for me to have to get up here it's ah uh, yeah it's like four inches away so now down. this back down i i seriously i love my ryobi stuffs because we don't have lighting in here and so it's it's really nice to have everything battery operated just so i don't have to uh you know go get extension cords and, and it's all about the same battery system so i don't need to buy additional batteries for special stuff it's like i seriously love the ryobi uh one plus system it's i mean you can't beat it with the amount of stuff that they have <laughs> 
with the amount of stuff that they have for the OnePlus system. All right, unfortunately, we are having issues with my memory card. So the last time that I recorded in the previous video, I did push the record button. I might need to get a new memory card. So let's inflate this and see what it is. No, it's not an inner tube. And there we go. Now I have one more here. I will find out what that's for. But as you can see, it inflated that like that. It's not exactly small, but it's like the size of an inner tube and that inflated that in no time whatsoever. And more importantly, no effort. It took, all I did was hold this. That's it. <laughs> That's it. So now, let's deflate this. We're gonna do a little speed frame. Yeah, that actually pretty much did it. Besides a tiny bit of air here and there. So, as you can see, these are the items that I, that I know about right now. There's other stuff that I suggest you could carry with you on your boat when you go out. You know, like, whatever time you go out. Night, daytime. So, just for the stuff that I have in my possession, these are the ones that I suggest that you take. The lights, the radio, the blower, and the two vacuums. One of one of them. Because when it comes to cleaning your when it comes to cleaning your boat, when you initially take it out of storage, that's the only time when you need to really thoroughly clean the carpet because that's just months upon months of not cleaning the boat. So if you so after you do that first initial cleaning, all you need to do is bring with you this. Just this one. Uh, they have two versions. They have this one, which I like the most, and they have this one. So it's like this one's a little smaller, a little bit more compact, and it just flat out looks cooler than this one does. So, uh, and there is a difference between the battery being on the back and then being underneath. So there is a, this one is balanced much better balanced than this one is. This one is front heavy because of where the, the position of the battery and the, how far if this goes, the, the nose goes, goes out. Uh, yes, this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.